Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Modern Warfare Remastered. Hope that you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, please do drop a like. It does help the series out a lot. Um, and I hope you guys are enjoying the cosplay. So I'm gonna have a lot more cosplay. And this is, um, this is basically Captain Price's um, Russia outfit that I'm wearing right now. So I hope that you guys like it. I did my absolute best to mimic his outfit as much as possible. This is actually the ex almost the exact same vest that Captain Price wears. So I hope that you guys enjoy this. Let's continue on. We're going to be doing the coup right now here. This is more of a cinematic mission, but it's still part of the story. So the guy that you're playing as in this mission is the president of the unknown country. Al-Assad was some kind of military officer in this country in the past and is taking it over now in a coup. That guy right there, that's Victor Zakayev, Imran Zakayev's son. They changed Al-Assad's voice in the remaster. I like this voice in the original better. Now he's getting a phone call here. It's probably he's probably being told that you're the president of this country. A coup is basically when the military overthrows the government and it's um oftentimes leads to a dictatorship. Now, in the original Modern Warfare games, this country's name is never um, revealed, it's just an unknown Middle Eastern country. But in Modern Warfare 2019, the uh, fictional country is Urzikstan, that's Al-Assad's country, but again, like I said, it's a different universe. Brave people that fought back against Al Assad there. This was a crazy intro. I remember the first time that uh, I played this as a kid. Oh, 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 oh,
Oh. Now, um, Al Assad. He's based on uh, three dictators put together. He has a very similar uniform to uh, Saddam Hussein um, he sh uh, from Iraq. He shares a similar name to Assad, the dictator of Syria, and also he uses the Desert Eagle. And the reason that's important is because the dictator of Libya, Muhammad Gaddafi, used a golden Desert Eagle. So that's, um, uh, he's a combination of three dictators put together. A lot of people don't realize that. This guy here is Imran Zakayev. That's the leader. He's the leader of the Russian ultranationalists. The reason he's supporting Al Assad is so that it distracts the Americans from interfering in Russia. You know, the thing is, though, is the first time I played this as a kid back in 2007, I actually thought I did something wrong. I thought I was supposed to do something to escape. I thought that I messed the mission up, but um, no, that always happens regardless. Captain Price, Al-Assad just executed President Al-Falani on national television. The Americans have plans for Al-Assad, and it's too late to do anything for Al-Falani. But in less than three hours, codename Nikolai will be executed. Nikolai, sir. Nikolai is our informant in the ultra-nationalist camp. He supplied the intel on the cargo ship operation. So there's Nikolai now. Nikolai comes back in Modern Warfare 2019. In right now. We're gonna walk him out. We take care of our friends. Let's move. But it's like I said, it's not the same Nikolai from Modern Warfare 1 through 3. He's based on the original Nikolai, but it's a reboot. Um... The Loyalists are expecting us half a click to the north. Move out. Loyalists, sir. Oh, no. The subtitles are off again? I had them on last time. Oh, they're on, but why aren't they working? The good Russians or the bad Russians? Well, they won't shoot us on sight. Oh, there they are. Yeah, well, that's good enough for me, sir. Hostile down. Okay, haven't alerted them yet. There should be a few more guard posts up ahead. Camera off these this TV gives you a little bit more information. So the first intel is right here. Like I said, I'll show you guys where all the intels are during this um uh, during this playthrough. So now there's a civ, a civ there's two conflicts in this game. There's the American invasion of um uh, Al Assad's country um to remove Al Assad from power, and the second one is the civil war in Russia. Now, it's between the loyalists who are loyal to the Russian government and the ultranationalists who are the um, bad guys. The ultranationalists, um, uh, they want a res restoration of the Soviet Union. So, plant some claymores in front of the door, then get their attention. gonna come out um Enemy down. oh I guess not okay oh there's only one guy in there okay well whatever then
Gas. You smell that? Yeah, camera off. Welcome to the new Russia, Captain Price. What's the target, Kamarov? We've got an informant to recover. The M21's on the other side of the hill. The rockets have killed hundreds of civilians in the valley below. Not so fast. Remember Beirut? You're with us. Hm. I guess I owe you one. Bloody right you So did. they, um, uh... That line was brought back in Modern Warfare 2018 with Kamarov, but I'm happy they brought him back in Modern Warfare 3 also, um, uh... I thought they completely forgot about him in Modern Warfare 2. This way. There's a good spot where your sniper can cover my men. Sniper team in position. Guys, cover the left flank. Roger, cover in the left flank. All units, commence the attack. So, take out the machine gunners in the window, so camera off stand. Already did it, Captain Price. What I find a little weird about Kamarov's uniform is, um, uh, he has the flag of Russia on his, um, uh, on his uniform, but then he also has the hammer and sickle on the Ushanka hat, which that, that would be the symbol of the ultra-nationalists. Okay. Here we go. M203 does help out a bit here. Okay. Great. A few more moving up. Okay, well, night vision is helping. Keeps worrying about his advance and not about the um, uh, informant. Uh, oh, they got a BMP coming into the area. A lot of these guys. Okay, uh. Good. Now we are making progress. Follow me to the power station.
This is gonna be good now. The final assault has already begun. With a little bit more of your sniper support, we are sure to be victorious. Captain Price. Enough sniping. Enough sniping. Where is the informant? Stop the Elias! Stop Sumas shell! Where is the Elias? The house! The house of the northeast end of the village! Well, that wasn't so hard, was it? Now go and sit in the corner. So, guys, we've got to reach that house before anything happens to the informant. Let's go. Now this part gets a bit challenging, um... Okay. Run night vision. I think in this mission the enemies have un unlimited spawns unless you push through them. Great, uh, my first death there. Yep. I was hoping that what wouldn't happen, but. Oh, get this out of here. At least it's not like World at War with limited grenades. Now these guys are stupid, you'd think they'd have some kind of backup generator in the house in case main power gets cut off. Alright, I've cut the power. Go. Victor! Electricist for Pegaslo! These night vision goggles make it too easy. Sasha! This is... Sasha! Grenade, watch out. Whoa, whoa. Idiot, don't you know, like, this is... The, and this shows you right there, like, stuff like that. These guys are untrained, um, uh, because... Bullets from an M4 would easily go through a wooden door like that. It'd be like nothing. It'd be like going through paper. So there's, um, uh... Intel right here, it's in the bathroom on the second floor of the um, of the house where Nikolai is held hostage. Now this part you want to watch out for because the guy is going to come out here with a flashlight and he can see you. It's him. Nikolai, are you alright? Can you walk? Yes, I can still fight. Thank you for getting me out of here. Big Bird, this is Bravo 6. We have the package. Meet us at LZ-1. Over. Bravo 6, this is Big Bird. We're on our way. Out. Let's go! What? What what just happened? What what, what was that? What 
I'm confused. Let's go. Okay, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Um, uh, I don't know what that was just now. That was weird. So that, I guess, will wrap up here on this part. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one. Take care, everyone. I ain't come and get me hot, Sergeant Briggs, reporting for duty. Roger. Some say this belong in the movie, but this the third installment, Infinity Ward shit. Don't soil your drawers, cause it's deep in his heart, bitch. Ready for action, 50 cows start to clapping. Four horsemen kicking the rerun, asking what's happening. To play for all that flapping, out they gates with all those back then. This one's for McMillan, 15 years you have relaxed, now it's time to settle the score. We ready to war, as a guest on board, my tribe of war torn. And this the third installment, Infinity Ward shit. Don't soil your drawers, cause it's deep in his heart, bitch. Breaks. 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 Breaks.